It's a sense of self-realization that comes with the idea that you can use your time to grow as a human being. My name is Teresinha Fonseca Crum, and I'm an author and a writer. You know the, the motto, if you don't publish, you, you perish. After I retired, I started to do fictional writing. And uh, I've already published a book of short stories, and now I'm in the process of writing a novel. Oh, it was very important for me to find a home care, good home care, because uh, I felt I still had a few years of active life as a writer. My husband suffers from advanced Parkinson's, and uh, I needed help badly. And uh, we were very lucky because we found Ivana at uh, Mind and Mobility. She helps my husband. She helps me with house cleaning. And above all, she's kind and very nice to him. So I feel like they're part of my family. This is not a lot of people who work with Richard. You have to be patient, cool. He's a great guy. He is a wonderful human being. But you have to know him. Besides doing things that other house aides would not do, like shaving him, you know, taking him for walks here. She also functions very much like a psychologist because she can tell when he's depressed. When he's upset, I'm trying for him to, you know, cool, little cool off. So I sit with him, I give him sorry. She's extraordinary. She does many good things. I'm very, very fortunate to have her. My husband started going to Mind and Mobility some five years ago. He needed physical therapy and speech therapy. My husband enjoyed the place, started to make friends there, liked the physical therapist very much. And that's how we established this relationship with Mind and Mobility. I had not dared to go back to writing because I think that writing is the kind of uh, skills that you gain and as you develop some momentum. And before having help at home, I would do a little half an hour here and then I wouldn't be able to get back to my work for another two, three days. So there was no continuity and now I do have that. I've been going for my aqua aerobics three times a week. I also started taking yoga and that helps your imagination too. Helps your imagination to develop and flourish. Every day when Ivana comes in, says good morning, she brings in new energy and uh, we started the day on that note.